It's been a busy day here at ISE 2019 and a lot of the attention has been surrounding this. It's the RQ50, our biggest and brightest projector to date. And Hartmut Kalesa is here to talk me through it. Hartmut, run me through the specs on this one. Yeah, you're right. We're again pushing the boundaries for high brightness projection. Uh, with this projector, we make the world's smallest and lightest 50,000 lumen projector with native 4K resolution and all in a single body and all in one product without the need for external coolers or signal processing. It has all the benefits from the laser light source, 20,000 hours of light source lifetime. No filters needed. It's a maintenance free operation. Um, it has redundant power supplies and backup uh, input lines built in. So it's really designed for heavy duty use in rental and staging applications. And it's actually in the same shaft, see the same, same body as the RZ31K, which is, which is an amazing achievement. Yeah, you're right. That's, that shows the technical development of the laser light source that helps us to build um, even better and brighter products in the same type of form factor. So we're not increasing the width and the length of the product. So it still remains a four-man operation in a rental and staging application setting up the product. So it's a huge advantage um, instead of increasing the size and weight of the product. An additional uh, product that we've launched this week is the RQ100 as well, uh, which fills a gap in our 4K lineup, I guess. Absolutely. I mean, the uh, demand is now going into higher resolutions, but also on, on lower brightness models. And with the PTRQ100, we are launching a 4K single chip DLP model, which will reduce the price tag on a 4K product and make it more affordable for museum type of applications. We use a single axis pixel shift to make a 340 by 2400 pixel resolution on screen. So it's really exciting picture quality and resolution at an affordable budget. And where do you see them, that those, those models going into? What, what verticals? Yeah, as I mentioned, it's the museum spaces, but it's also public display, signage applications, wherever you want to bring the audience closer to the screen to have a benefit from the um, higher pixel resolution and a more film-like reproduction of the picture. Um, yeah, those are the spaces that will quickly adopt 4K resolution. Hartmut, thank you very much for joining right. us on Panasonic Live at ISE. Don't forget, if you're coming to the show this week, to drop by the Panasonic stand. We're in Hall 1, stand H20.